Born a hockey fanatic, Ryan Breeze went to Bloomington Jefferson, where he grew up skating alongside Zach Parisi and Tommy Gilbert. His devastating cut as a senior from his varsity hockey tryouts detailed in the book Blades of Glory. Still, even as a little boy, Ryan was known for giving his equipment to families who couldn't afford the sport. That's so Ryan that he would want to take care of his mom like that. His parents believe their son's giving ways are still at work, nearly two years after his tragic death. Ryan died at 34 within seconds of taking what he thought was Oxycontin that he bought from a friend. It almost was the same kind of makeup that Prince had in his system. And they did say that he was a, a tissue donor and that they would be taking some of his tissue. And it, I can't believe what it is meaning to me now. Lori never gave Ryan's decision to be a donor much thought until a ski accident in March. Once I fell on my knee, I immediately knew, like, I'm in trouble. Her ACL wouldn't heal on its own, and Lori needed surgery. On a whim, she called the tissue bank. I called on a Wednesday, and just Monday of that week, they got approval to have Ryan's tissue donated because of some clerical error. Typically, her son's donation should have been gone within a few months. She said, we can make it work on our end. We can graft it if you can find a surgeon that will make it work on your end. Soon, Lori will be with the same surgeon who nursed Ryan back from so many hockey injuries for her own surgery, Dr. Joe Tyner from Twin Cities Orthopedics. On pond, my first meeting, telling him 15 minutes later, he said, absolutely, I will make this work. A lasting sign of a son's big heart. I know it's his way of, of still taking care of me. In Bloomington, Liz Collin, WCCO4 News. Ryan's mom will be the very first recipient of her son's donations. Medical professionals have been so moved by Lori's story that they plan to hand deliver Ryan's tissue to the surgery center the day of her procedure on May 30th.